All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahawah Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here toiling in this truth. I'm Pataka Moth, Jim S. Dallas. I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. I'm going to entitle this one, The Fear of the Lord is Everything. <clears throat> the Fear of the Lord is Everything. And scriptures back that man, you know what I'm saying? The fear of the Lord, you know, first of all, it, it is a uh, is uh, the beginning of wisdom, as the scriptures say, which I'm going to grab that, you know. But with with that fear, you know, and that wisdom comes protection, man. You know what I'm saying? The covering of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? So uh, and everything else, you know what I'm saying? That but it all begins with that fear, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, without any further ado, I'm just going to get right into the lesson, you know, I don't want to prolong it or make it too long. You know, it's going to be a quick, pretty quick and to the point lesson. So the fear of the Lord is everything. So just right off the top, let's go to Job. This is Job chapter 28 and verse 28. And it reads, and unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So it says, and unto man, he said, Behold, look, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. You know, because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Which that wisdom, once you get that wisdom, you know, it's going to bring uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, the ways of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Which, which, uh, uh, this, this, this truth, which comes with this truth, which is going to then allow you to, to, to depart from evil man which is understanding because the majority of our people are lost man you know what i'm saying they don't have this wisdom they and therefore they don't know the ways of the lord and in turn they haven't departed from evil which is going to lead them them salakia to being destroyed so let's get this real quick in in uh proverbs uh the 21st chapter and verse 16 this is Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. So that understanding is important, man. You know what I'm saying? It's essential and important to life, man. You know, which that understanding uh, uh, that will will, uh, will cause you to, to depart from evil comes by way of wisdom, which the beginning of that is fear. You know what I'm saying? Fear in the Lord, man. You know, and two-thirds of our people have their, they've wandered out of the way of understanding man and that's why they're remaining in the congregation of the dead we all were there at one point because we all fell away from our heritage pursuant to jeremiah the 17th chapter in verse 4 man we all were caught up in that madness at one, you know the madness of this place at one point we were all put to sleep you know what i'm saying we were all lost you know what i'm saying and uh you know the remnant is returning you know and they're coming back to the ways of yahweh bashim man you know what i'm saying which is going to bring them out of the darkness, you know what I'm saying? Because this uh, pursuing the Isaiah the 60th chapter in verse two, this earth is in darkness and these people in gross darkness, man. The lies and deceptions of Esau, the evils, the wickedness, the uh, the iniquity, you know, the sin and iniquity of Esau, which is all embedded in this place, you know. So, uh, you know, the majority of our people are caught up in that, you know, because they wandered out of the way of understanding, you know, and the fact that they don't have that understanding, you know. Hey man, it's going. It, hey, they're going to have two parts. Going to have to be cut off and die pursuing the Zechariah the thirteenth chapter and verse eight. So let's go back to uh, Job, uh, the twenty-eighth chapter and verse twenty-eight, and then read it again. It says, "And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord." So it's all about that fear, man. You know, you have to fear, fear the Lord. That's the beginning of everything. You know, if you don't have true fear of the Lord, He's not going to give you wisdom, man. You know, because as a matter of fact, uh, what is that? As a matter of fact, it's an apocrypha. <laughs> Uh, can't remember exactly where it is. Let me type this in real quick. So like you bear with me for a moment. Phone takes forever. So like you. Shouldn't take this long, man. Come on, man. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon. 
chapter one and verse four, and it reads for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Exactly. Because they didn't have wisdom, you know, therefore they didn't depart from evil, which is understanding, man, you know, which that wisdom brings. So for into a malicious soul, which that's that day, that's a malicious soul because it's full of sin. You know what I'm saying? For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, man. You know what I'm saying? Because of sin, man. You know, that's why two thirds of our people is through, man. They got to go. So let's go back to Job 28 and 28. It says, and unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. It's all about that fear. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding, man. You know, because that fear of the Lord is going to lead to wisdom pursuant to Proverbs, the first chapter. Let's get that real quick. It's Proverbs 1. In verse 7, and it reads, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. You know what I'm saying? This knowledge instructs you, instructs you. You know what I'm saying? Thus saith the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is that departing from evil, which is understanding, you know, which begins with fear, man. The fear of the Lord, all about that fear. The fear of Yahabashim Yahashai is the beginning of knowledge. That's where you get this wisdom, man. You know what I'm saying? That's going to allow you to depart from evil, which is understanding, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to, hey, those instructions, man, they're important. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this real quick. Let's keep it going. I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to get to the points. This is 2nd Ezra. Chapter 9. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 11. You know, because... You know, again, this wisdom, uh, uh, the wisdom fear brings, which, again, you know, are the ways of the Lord. You know, that's that's wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Those instructions. So to depart from evil, you know, it said, it, as a matter of fact, let me get, let me go back real quick because it said, it says something uh, uh, key. It says something key. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 7, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning, and I want to, you know, harp on that point, make make sure I made that point. Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemir of Shai, is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So fools, you know, despise it. They despise this wisdom. They don't have the fear of the Lord. Therefore, they despise this wisdom, man. You know, the, the, this, the, the instructions, man, that's going to, uh, uh, you know, teach them the ways of the Lord, you know, which is going to... Uh, uh, Bring them out of, they're going to depart from evil, which is that understanding, which they don't have, man. But so they're going to despise it. So that's why I wanted to go to this, but I want to set that up. So it's the second Ezra chapter nine and verse 11. It says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, which is now, man. You know what I'm saying? This is that grace period that Jake has to get this, man. You know, it says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. There it is. The laws of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the time of repentance that the, the doors of repentance, you know, this grace period is open right now. The doors are open, but they're slowly, but surely shutting, man. You know what I'm saying? But they loathed it, man. You know what I'm saying? It says they understood not, but despised it. And guess what that's going to bring them? Verse 12, the second edge of 9 and 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Zechariah 13 and 8 again. Two parts got to be cut off. So they're going to be cut off by death by pain, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't have the fear of the Lord, which is going to lead them to wisdom, which is going to lead them to, to departing from evil, which is understanding, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is a beautiful thing. Shepa, man. You know what I'm saying? So that fear is important to have, man. It brings protection, like I said in, in the beginning. So let's get that real quick. Let's go back. You know, it's going that that fear brings is it, every it's everything. You know, and I mentioned how it brought, brings that protection. So that's lit. Let's let's go to Psalms real quick. It's Psalms chapter thirty four and verse seven, and it reads, "The angel of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai campeth around about them that fear him, and delivereth them." There it is. The angel of the Lord encampeth around. Round about them that fear him, man, that fear, you know what I'm saying? And delivereth them. 
You know, yeah, that protection, man. The fear of the Lord brings that wisdom. And it tell, the, the scriptures tell you, uh, 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 as a matter of fact, let's get it real quick in, in, in Psalms, the 91st uh, chapter. This Psalms chapter 91 and verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And what's that secret place? In this knowledge, man. And how do you get this knowledge? By way of fear, the fear of the Lord. It gives you this knowledge, this wisdom, man. You know? Which is going to allow you to dwell in those secret places, you know, and by, abide under the shadow of the Almighty in His protection. You know what I'm saying? That's why we just read that in Psalms, the 34th chapter. You know what I'm saying? So this, this, this the, the fear of the Lord is very important, man. It's everything. That fear is going to bring uh, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the coming times, man. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. There it is. It's, it's his treasure because that fear is going to bring you all of these things that I'm going through, man. You know what I'm saying? It begins with the fear of the Lord, man. You know, and you'd be surprised that the, the majority of these people do not fear the Lord. The majority, I'm talking when I say these people, I'm talking about Israel. You know, the Israelites that's, that's, that, that knows this truth, man, and claim to believe. You know what I'm saying? They don't have true fear. That's why you got these scoffers and these, these, these bug outs out here pulling the crap that they're pulling. You know what I'm saying? Our women. You know what I'm saying? No fear of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And that fear is important. You know, it's going to bring all of these things that I'm bringing out right now. So Isaiah 30 and 3 and 6, which is going to come into play soon. And wisdom and knowledge which you, you get by way of the fear, shall be the stability, stability of thy times and strength of salvation. It's going to get you through these trying times that we're about to go through. The evil day is upon us. You know, perilous times are upon us. You know what I'm saying? The burden of Babylon is upon us, man. These things are about, this devil is about to come down having great wrath because he, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So it's going to get very ugly out here. And, and uh, uh, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding, all of these are going to are going to bring you that that stability, man, in these coming times. It's going to be the strength of salvation, man. It's going to get you to a chariot, man. So the fear of the Lord is his treasure. It all begins with the fear, man, that fear of the Lord. So let's get one uh, real quick. As a matter of fact, I think I typed this into, let me see if I'm finding this real quick, into uh. Salakia, man. God dang it. Hold back because I know I, I know I know I typed this in. Salakia. Yeah, to be. Matter of fact, so like I guess I'm gonna have to uh gonna have to type this in again. Salakia, y'all. Man, this is crazy. This a rock. So lock here. This is a rock chapter twenty five, and I'm gonna start at verse nine. And the brother Benaiah man bought this hitter out. <clears throat> you know, just proving that it's everything, man. This this, this knowledge, you know, the 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 fear of the Lord is everything. This is Sirach 25 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 9 in, in the uh, GNT, GNTD. And it reads, someone fortunate enough to have a real friend, you know, and of course, Yahawashai said, you know, he called us his friend, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is a beautiful thing, man. It says a person that people are happy to listen to, you know, and he said that, you know, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. And the, re and the really great one, someone who is wise, you know, hey, that he's that wise king that's spoken of in, in, in Sirach, uh, uh, the 10th chapter, man. You know, when, 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 the, uh, uh, when uh, uh, the, uh, the kingdom is, is, uh, is, is uh, 
ruled in wisdom is well ordered, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says, uh, but the greatest one of all is the person who fears the Lord. The greatest one of all is the person who fears the Lord. You know, verse 11, such a person has no equal. Nothing can match up to the, the people that fear the Lord because the Lord will give them the wisdom, man. He's going to give them the protection. He's going to give them everything, man. Everything is coming to these people. So such a person has no equal because the fear of the Lord is the most important thing in the world. Wow. Beautiful, man. You know, the fear of the Lord, man. It's the most important thing in the world, man. You know? So that fear is important. Let me get one more real quick and we'll 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 bring this lesson to a close. Really, I was going to end it on that, but then I thought of I thought of another one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it on this one. I think that was actually the microphone drop right there. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna get one more. This is Proverbs chapter 14. And I'm gonna drop down to verse 26. And then we'll bring this lesson to a close. This is Proverbs 14 and 26, and it reads, In in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. So in the fear of the Lord, that fear, man, it's all about the fear of the Lord. In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai is strong confidence. You know, and when you go into that word confidence, it's trust, security. In the fear of the Lord is strong trust and security. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Don't you want that, man? Fear, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that fear, man. And, and, and the elder Ari and Aza, you know, here in the, in the Dallas camp, you know, GMS Dallas, you know, he pushes that. He pushes that fear of the Lord, you know, which is what uh, uh, sparked this lesson. You know what I'm saying? Prompted this lesson. He pushes that faith, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, very heavy indeed. So, hey, the fear of the Lord, man, it's important. And the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, that 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 trust and in, 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 uh, security, man. And his children shall have a place of refuge. You know what I'm saying? That refuge, that's that, that, that protection, that's what we're looking for. It all begins with fear, man, the fear of the Lord. So, hey, with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kalkadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shal, Dawadah, Shalom.